Yeah, my name is Ryan Kirkland. I'm the president of Kirkland Associates. Uh, we are the manufacturer's rep firm for Carlisle Syntec for about half the state of Texas. We got introduced to the Bleeding for Brawley benefit um, when the, the first year that they had it. Um, it was a, a local establishment here. A young girl that was diagnosed with MLD. She happened to be the same age as, as our daughter. Really touched us, we wanted to get involved. So uh, every year since then, we, we decided to sponsor it, uh, make donations, be just active you know, within the charity. It's been great. So the first year they had the uh, Bleed for Brawley event, we went to it. Kind of went for the fun things, for the band, for you know, seeing friends, things like that, and it, it just really touched us um, hearing her story and, and how the, uh, they help out so many other families in so many ways. It made us just really want to want to help out any way we could. MLD is a rare genetic disorder that um, actually there is currently not a cure for, and we knew that they were going to have a big event in the community, and so we went, and we've been attending um, last year was our 11th year to attend. Believing for Briley was created um, because their daughter had, was diagnosed with MLD, and so they um, didn't know a lot about this disease. And just all the, the hoops and things that they had to go through as a family, um, you know, and learning about this diagnosis, so they wanted to um, just kind of reach out in the community and try to raise some money so they could help families just like them, whether it be to help with hospital fees, things to help with transportation, whatever it may be. They just went out to the community and said, hey, how can we help to raise money for these families? So that's kind of how Believing for Briley started. So hearing this more of like the direct effect and seeing how this is, you know, affects families. Um, unfortunately, a couple years ago, Briley did pass away, and the family had held on to the, her wheelchair, which is, you know, a very expensive uh, piece of equipment that helped transport her, you know, everywhere. And they held on to it, but um, last year when we attended the event, they had a family there from out of state. That wheelchair fit perfectly to one of the family's sons that was still fighting this disease. And so they brought him out in Briley's wheelchair and there wasn't a dry eye in, at the event. I mean, just to see how that impacted that family and how it helped them to be able to transport their son, just, again, it, you could see the direct effect of what this, you know, um, organization is doing to help families. Sorry, I'm actually like... Uh, you know, it was it was great. We've won awards in the past, but this one was really, uh, it was neat to see our name up there, to know that we, we have impacted in some way and helped out. It also, I hope that others will see it and, you know, get a little bit of uh, competition and, and people really trying to do more in their communities, so. Um, but it was very special recognition. As his wife, I was very proud of him. It was, I could tell how excited he was when he learned he was nominated for this award. I think it meant a lot to him, and I think it just, it made it, him even want to do more. Do more next year and continue, and just to try to give back as much as possible. It's truly opened our eyes to look at other charities and other, other ways that we can help out, whether it be volunteer with our time or financially. So it's really kind of just opened our eyes of other ways that we can help out. Mm -hmm.